Good morning, California. This is Brian Davies, Lynette Davies, and Brittany Davies, known as Bubba, coming to you live, well, pre-recorded, for Crusaders for Patients Right TV on radio. Get ready for a good show, but first I must say what I gotta say. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and for the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this nation. Thank you for this day. Thank you for everything and every part of this day. Thank you for the churches trying to clean themselves up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Oh, the other one was, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Please lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine are the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. In the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, I'm going to call 360 degrees, 10,000 nautical miles. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen. All evil, leave that. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you. Oh, you guys. And now this is weird because I can feel the Votto cams pointed at us. <laughs> I can feel it. Does I, that mean uh, you can't speak? You're going to have to be silent. I'm thinking I wish I had makeup on. Is this going to be a short show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You want me not to talk today? Look <laughs> Only about certain subjects. <laughs> Do you agree? Do you? I disagree. Ah! <laughs> Okay, Bubba. <laughs> okay, what, what's the cannabis news? Cannabis news. We have a 19th state that has made it legal. New Jersey became signed in legal state this last week, which is awesome. But at the same time, today, which is what, July 24th, this is when we're pre recording this show, there I had reports that in the legal state of Washington, there is a raid going on between 18 and 21 clubs are being raided today by the state federal government Washington. in the state of Washington. But this whole state even has recreational use, and yet the federal government is still walking into a legal state and doing raids. Well, it makes me wonder, though. Is, you know, we've been in this business for a while, and we, we, we saw things that would get people raided. We saw them over and over and over again. We can't make a judgment against the, the feds for raiding them. But I would say, though, that I would look at my politicians and say, you know what, the people's will is being done according to who, what people, or is it the government and the big business will being done? Yeah, well, I, what I find um, interesting in Washington, because it is a legal state for recreational and for medicinal, they have a huge tax revenue, and I know that the governor actually sent a letter out to the federal government when it became a legal state, basically saying, stay out of our state. So, I mean... I mean, they had the backing of the whole Washington state, which is, is more, that governor had done more than what our, our governor at the time had done here in the state of California, and yet the federal government is still coming in there and doing these raids. I remember seeing a, a show on one of the, I forgot, one of the pay TV channels, and they had a guy, and he was in Colorado, and he was bragging, before it was legal, I've been growing for 20-some years, growing it in my basement, and this is how I paid for everything, and this is what I do. I grow it in my basement. Now it's legal. This is great. Now I'm still growing it in my basement. I'm going to increase my growth. Then they switch over to the DEA. Go. <laughs> oh, he just admitted he was growing illegally for this many years, and yeah. he went all over the TV and said this and that. What do you expect was going to happen? Yeah, then you're shocked when the raid does come down. And you're right. I don't have the facts on the, on the 18 to 21 clubs that are being raided right now. I just find it suspicious. Well, if he was growing when, it, when, he, when he was growing it was, when it was illegal, he didn't care where the cannabis went. I'm sure, though, he you're did. Right. He did help many sick and ill people. I'm sure he did. Except for, I wonder how many pe how many youngsters at the age of four and five years old got a hold of his cannabis. No, no, that's ridiculous. Oh well, I, I don't know. Is, the, the, I, the, no. the drug dealer, the drug dealer list. Let, let you know me see what? your that ID is before I sell it. Even coming from you, that's still reefer but madness. Well, well, oh well, my well, god! Well, because uh, people... I, if I'm a pa father, I don't want my child to be able to have something like this that he buys from somebody in an alley. I agree. I agree. But at the but same point... But then if point, he was doing it illegally, he didn't care who he sold it to, and he did it for monetary gain. Correct? Oh, wait. Colorado is only doing it for monetary gain. Colorado has tricked the populace into having to give up their guns. They have the choice between owning a gun or using cannabis. Oh, wow. They're politicians. I really want to move to Colorado. 
Heck no. You know what they have in Colorado? They have parks that are full of grizzly bears. It's illegal for you to take a gun on it. And they basically say, well, you're taking a risk when you camp here. I say the bear dies, the person lives. <laughs> and no matter what, if, they, if the law is unjust, only the unju- it's unjust to follow the law. So if I ever went to that park, they better believe I'll have a gun. The biggest one I can carry. All right. Does this go like with the, t- the guy that just said that he was growing for 20 years if you're already saying you're going to take a gun on those property. <laughs> well, if there's bears there that eat people, heck yes, yeah. Okay. I'm going to look, I'm going to think, I'm going to look at, I'm going to look at the peace officer. The peace officer is going to go, well, I don't know. You know, you're right, but then don't come here on our park. <laughs> wait, wait, do I pay taxes? Do I pay federal income taxes? And this is a federal park and you're telling me I can't come? Not unless I want to endanger my life. This is insanity. It hey, is. If it you is. get the bears to pay taxes, then I'll stay out of their park. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. You mean the park is for the people too? Well, yeah, I guess it's for the bear. Yeah. And, 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 and you know, the, the, the guy will say, does a, a bear go poo poo in this park? <laughs> and you'd say, yes. <laughs> true. Very true. Very true. Huh. Well, and as far as cannabis news, let's see what else do I have to share with you today. Well, I, I can tell you that we're still at the State Fair. This is the last week of the State Fair, and it has been an awesome, awesome opportunity. The last four years that we've actually been there, every year has gotten better. I mean, so many people have come up that have got cancer, that have diseases, that have watched this show or not watched it, but heard this show, and they're actually coming forward to um, get this information. And I think lives are going to be saved. Well, I, what I've noticed this year is uh, I'm looking out at the State Fair, and I see people wearing those, wearing uh, the Christian T-shirts yep. all over the place, the Crusaders T-shirts all over the place. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And most of the people that are coming up to our booth and thanking us are people that are over, let's say, 40 years old saying you did the right thing. There's some young I got ones. news. Most of these people have been over 60. These are, these are, this is they, a they, great they, group of elderly that, that are coming forward. Yeah, they said that they didn't use, can, they, you know, they didn't think of it being as, as useful as it is, but it mm-hmm. is. And this is why the, the, the big business wants to take it over and or get rid of it and is using our politicians against us. True, true. Now, there are some hero politicians. What, what's that hero politician you use his name all the time? Tom McClintlock. Well, and well, you well, know who well, else well, I, I really like who's not been actually incredibly favorable to the cannabis issues, but I happen to really respect him, and that happens to be the sheriff of El Dorado County. Well, I like him. But uh, what, what, what about the, um, the uh, what about Steinberg? Steinberg. I like Steinberg. Yes, I do. Yeah, well, that's what you were going to say. He's, he's, he's been, you, you know worked what? with him I have Friday. worked with him for years. Steinberg was actually part of the city, uh, was a city councilman in the city of Sacramento before he got, went up into, you know, the other areas of politics. And now, of course, he's one of the head senators um, in in the, Does in he still Sacramento. have his office in the same place? He has three offices. Well, he had that one. I like that he has an office right next to Dewiner Stissel and Harvey.